Hello everyone, welcome back to a new vlog. Um, I'm starting this vlog out, it's kind of evening, it's like 5 o'clock I think or something. Um, normally I would start vlogging in the morning, however I just got a wave of motivation aka anxiety to start organizing and, and tackling this horrifying office junk room situation that I've been complaining about for weeks. So I thought, you know what? I wanted to vlog me cleaning it out and organizing it. So when inspiration strikes, it strikes and you gotta take advantage, right? So I'm gonna start right now. And I guess I'm just gonna start vlogging because it needs to be done. And I'm not gonna finish it today, definitely not, because I feel like this task is gonna take me like multiple days for sure. But we're gonna start tonight. So I'm taking you with me. We'll see how it goes. Jump scare warning. So welcome to my office. It is full of so much stuff right now. I don't even know. I really don't even know where to begin, but I'm just gonna pick something and start. There's a lot of PR in this room. Um, I have been sent way more PR than normal for baby stuff, which is so nice and amazing. And I wanna organize it all and like be able to show you guys things that I've gotten that are really, really cute. I've just been so overwhelmed with the amount of stuff, not even just PR, but just like the stuff that has accumulated in this room even before I was being sent the baby stuff. So I feel like I need to cleanse and organize everything and then I can show you guys, maybe in this vlog or somewhere else, the cute stuff that I've been sent and anything else. Um, but yeah, we, we just gotta start somewhere. So there's also just clothes that I've worn for things that I've thrown in here, clothes that should be in my closet, clothes that I wanted to get rid of, mil just a million different things. So we will begin. Let me push this back. Um, here's an alternate view, <laughs> just so you can see how bad it is. So there's all this stuff. The closet is honestly completely unorganized as well, which is stressing me out. And then that's just more stuff, more stuff, stuff everywhere. So let's get into it. It is another rainy, rainy day. Leif and I have been trying to get our lives together, aka cleaning out all the stuff you've been seeing so far. I'm still not done, but I did just get my Thrive Market box in with some really fun little snacks. This is my pregnancy snack haul for you guys because uh, when I was shopping online, number one, I hate going to grocery stores right now, specifically while I'm pregnant. There are a ton of smells. Basically shopping online on Thrive Market is best case scenario to me. If you guys have never used Thrive Market or you don't really know about it, it is an online membership based grocery store. I feel like this is amazing if you don't live near like a health grocery store that you want to go to or if you follow a specific diet, like if you're vegan or gluten free, keto really anything. They have a ton of different stuff on there, but it's just such like an easy, seamless way to grocery shop. And there's also a lot of savings. You can save on a lot of these items too. So I'm going to show you guys what I got. Some of this stuff I like love and I've tried and that's why I got it. And some of it is new to me. These are so good. These Toto sea salt chocolate chip plant-based cookies. They have like protein in them and they're delicious. The ingredients are like almond butter, coconut sugar. They're so good, just trust me on this. I think Delaney is the one who told me about these a while ago and they are so good. So I got some of those. I also got dill pickles. Um, I feel like pickles are such like a pregnancy craving thing. So many people that I, or girls that I see that are pregnant, like post that they're eating pickles. There's something about like the bite that pickles have to them that just hit. I got these late July sea salt dippers. I've been loving chips and salsa lately as a snack. These, um, I just love this brand in general, but I really like these tortilla chips. This is my favorite pancake mix. It's from Simple Mills. It's almond flour, pancake and waffle mix. Super easy to make, good ingredients, and I'll just throw like berries and maple syrup, sometimes some peanut butter or something on top, and they're so good. These are also, always one of these is in my purse, and I love that Thrive Market has them. The That's It bars, these are the mini fruit bars. They have like apples and figs in some of them, apples and mangoes. The apples and mangoes ones are my favorite. I actually don't know if I've had the fig ones, so. But I like have to have snacks in my bag at all times, and I really like these because the ingredients are literally just fruit. Chomps, 
You guys know how much I love chomps. I love the beef ones and I love the turkey ones. These are an amazing snack, obviously a great way to get protein in, which I've been trying to do through this pregnancy. Um, I feel like now that I have pretty much my appetite back, I'm just trying to actually eat food that has protein, nutrients, and all that. I know some of these are like more fun snacks, but it just feels good to be able to get that into my diet because for a few months there, it was really hard to eat much of anything just because of my loss of appetite and nausea and stuff. Um, let me finish out with the thing, with the food. This, I'm really excited to try these. These are Yummy Real Fruit Chew. Fruit Chews, the brand is Faves, or is it Climate Candy? I don't know, but these are like little plant-based fruit chews. Maybe we can try one together, but again, it's just like really good ingredients. Strawberry, cherry, little candies. I've also been in my candy era. If you guys listen to the podcast, I've been talking about that a little bit. Also, Olipop, the best. I love carbonation right now. I always stock up on these, on Thrive Market specifically. This is what we use to um, for our dishwasher. The Rosie dishwasher detergent packets. This is the fresh lemon one. These are always underneath our sink, so I always stock up. As a Thrive Market member, you will save on every single order and they have really just high quality, like organic and sustainable products, which is amazing. Also orders over $49 ship free. It's, I can't express to you how nice it is that a box of groceries that are, you know, healthy, organic, things that you wanted, that you picked out, some of your favorite brands that you maybe saved some money on, just shows up at your front door. You don't actually have to go to the grocery store. It's so nice. And just to be able to like stock up your fridge or your pantry or whatever is amazing. And most of the time when I go to the grocery store, it's gonna be over $49 anyway. So to have it just ship for free is awesome. I'm gonna put my link for you guys here and also in the description so you can easily click it. I believe it is thrivemarket.com slash jcmariesmithyt. But if you click that link, join Thrive Market today, you can get 30% off your first order and also a free gift that could be up to $60. So yeah, check it out. If you wanna save some money on groceries, get some fun new brands or some of your favorites that you already have. I'm actually going to crack a cold one open. Sorry if it's dark or if you're hearing the rain. It's just nonstop out there. Mm-hmm. It hits just right. I'm gonna put all these groceries away and I will catch up with you guys soon. We are gonna go to the house right now, to the new house. I'm gonna take you guys with us. It's like almost, the sun's gonna be setting soon. You guys are going to be scared. You're going to be shook by the state of our freaking house. I know I keep saying it's like, it's more and more demolished, but I'm telling you, it's like, I think we're building a new house at this point. There's no, there's no house left. You'll be shook, but the house will not be shook because of the sheer wall that we're building. Because of the new foundation. Here's the house, guys. Completely, look at all this. Doing all this new plumbing, so everything's literally just holes in the ground. This is the addition over there. So this is where the house ended, and we're extending it to kind of where Leif's standing over there, but this is just tarp from the storm because they're redoing all this plumbing and they don't want it to get wet so they had to block it all off so anyway it'd be nice to see that come to life okay so that's pretty much the update um i i feel like there's really not that much not that many interesting things happening maybe i'll wait to do more home updates for when actual walls go up and drywall and you know, more of the finishes, which I don't know exactly when that'll be, honestly, but I feel like it's it's so hard to visualize, even for me, and I'm literally standing in there. When I'm in the house, I'm like, this just looks like chaos. chaos. So I don't know if it's kind of hard to understand even what's happening for you guys probably, but I'll keep updating you. Um, but yeah, maybe once more like a little bit more exciting things are happening because all the progress is exciting because it just means things are happening. So it's closer and closer to when it will be done, which is amazing, but yeah, I feel like there's just a lot of logistics and plumbing and kind of boring stuff happening right now, so. Good morning, it is the next day. I will show you the progress that I got done from yesterday or from last night. We're gonna go for round two. This might not be the best angle in the world, let's see. Okay, here's some progress. I have some stuff on this bench still that I want. This is some, some of the baby stuff that I wanna show you guys, so I don't really have a spot for it at the moment. So after I do like a haul, then I'll try and organize it somewhere. But also, yes, this is the infamous orange bench that we were talking about on the podcast. Uh, when we had our husbands on, Leaf was saying that I regretted buying this orange bench. Really what it is is that 
the purpose and the vision for this room completely changed. So originally I was going for like bright colors and then I just kind of decided I didn't want to do that anymore and this is so like such a bright piece. That's to worry about for a different time. But yeah, I cleaned up all the stuff that was here and that took a while and I organized it, hung some clothes up, all that good stuff. And then now we're gonna go for this section. This section needs to be cleaned up. The closet also, but honestly, I'm just gonna focus on this right now and we will deal with the closet shortly. So yeah, let's get into it. I'll show you this later too. It's the, it's my bridesmaids box from Delaney. It's so cute. I wanted to show you what was inside of it, so we'll do that later. Okay, we are gonna do a little baby haul of some stuff that I've gotten recently that I want to show you guys. Also, if I decide I'm not going to use some of this stuff or if I just can't use it or whatever the case may be, I am going to be giving it to, I have two cousins who are due, actually one who just had a baby, one who's due in a few months. So I'm going to be gifting some of this stuff to them if I feel like I can't use it or I'm going to choose to buy something else or something. If I still have stuff, I'm gonna give it away to some of you guys. I'll let you guys know on my Instagram if I decide to do like a little giveaway or something. But I definitely want all this stuff to be used because I don't want it to just be sitting around if it's, yeah, if I'm not gonna use it. So all this stuff right here, Free People actually sent me a package of some really cute, just, it's not really maternity clothes, just like comfy sets to wear, which I'm very excited about. And then they also sent me this little Hatch, um, the brand is Hatch, Hatch Mama. They sent me this little thing, which I'm really excited about. I've heard a lot about their belly oil, their belly oil, and then a belly mask. Oh, there's a bunch of these. Stretch mark targeting sheet mask. So we got these and then I think these are those little like tattoos. Oh that's cute. There's those little tattoos. Have you seen people put like little temporary tattoos on their belly? So they sent me that little package which is so cute um, within with the sets. So they're all just like matching sets. I will definitely be wearing I feel like a lot of these because they're so comfy and all I want to wear right now is comfy matching sets. Oh, these are the pants. So these like purple knit pants and this sweater. That looks so comfy. And then these matching sets as well, like a brown sweater matching set, green and cream. So those are all really, really cute. Then we have a package from Wild Bird. They sent me a little swaddle really cute color. These little footy pajamas, which I'm not okay. They're so soft and stretchy and they have just a zipper. So freaking cute. So that same, same pajamas, just um, cream. Goodbye. <laughs> I can't with how small that is. And then a sleep gown. I don't really know what that is, but it's very soft. Also, I haven't told any brand or anyone the gender. Anything they sent me was just what they wanted to send. I feel like, um, I'll show you this package of clothes that I got and I feel like some maybe lean towards like girl clothes, some lean towards boy clothes. So, but nothing is a hint. Also in my last video I said, oh, we hung up our ultrasound, but I was kind of like not laughing, but like breathing. I was like, oh, we hung up her, our ultrasound and it sounded like I said her ultrasound maybe. So a bunch of people messaged me like, you gave away the gender and I was like, what? And then I went back and watched it and I was like, oh, they think I said her instead of our. No one knows the gender yet. Well, besides like my close family and friends, but we have not revealed that yet, but it's coming very soon. Honestly, I'm not even trying to like avoid it for any other reason other than I just wanted to like do a cute photo shoot or some way to like announce it and I just haven't done that yet. So that's coming soon. Okay, I got a bunch of Tubby Todd stuff, which I'm really excited about because all my friends who have babies, they're like, they love this and this is what they use for their kids. So it's like body wash for your baby, hair and body wash, um, all over ointment diaper paste, 
nipple balm, just all sorts of like creams and um, everyday lotion, fragrance free, baby massage oil. So I'm really excited about those products cause that's like, I feel like that's the most common um, recommendation I've seen is Tubby Todd for like baby bath products. So those are really cute. Also this um, bag is from Stork and so is this pouch. It's a really good size pouch and I love the color of it too. Oh wait, also from Wild Bird is this. Wait, I haven't even opened this yet. Oh, that's really cute. Is it a carrier? Oh yeah, it's a carrier. I don't want to completely like take this apart, but it's a little baby carrier. That's a really cute pattern. I love it. Okay, next let's let's dive into these clothes because they're so cute. Oh, wait, I think this is from a different brand right here. Oh yeah, Primally Pure sent me also some like baby, some baby powder. They have like all natural products goat milk baby bar like a soap bar baby balm i don't know what that what that is to baby's bottom nursing nipples any dry skin and then another little baby oil these products are really i really like primally pure they're all like very good ingredients and i love their branding and stuff so excited to try those as well and then we have this package from quincy may which is so cute i have barely ordered any baby clothes myself i like just kind of started looking into ordering stuff so this was like the most exciting one i feel like just because it's like baby clothes are so freaking cute and tiny goodbye look at those little shoes so this is all from quincy may all those little shoes this baby blanket just has some like neutral polka dots it's really really soft i love the fabric on that um, these little body suits in these cute patterns. Another little footy pajama. I can't. Onesie. How? That is the tiniest thing. Oh, it's newborn size. That is so cute. Another little onesie. Hat. This little apple top with matching bottoms. Sayonara, this little hoodie, like onesie thing. And then these little socks that match with everything. They like match the patterns of the things you just saw. Little tiny baby socks. Oh my gosh. Okay, this was in the same bag, but this is from Jenny Kane and I am not okay at this little blue sweater. It's kind of hard to see, but it's like navy. <laughs> it's so cute, it's like a cable knit sweater. It's perfect. So anyway, there's a bunch of clothes. Okay, a few more things quickly. This Ergo Baby Natural Curve Nursing Pillow. I think it's just to like support like your arm or the baby to lay on um, while you're nursing. And they also sent that like bouncer uh, seat thing that you guys saw Leif and I, we were messing with it. We took it out of the box and stuff. That was also from Ergo Baby. So that was really, really nice of them to send that. It looks really cute. This I am so excited about because any of my friends who are parents have been like, this is their number one thing on their registry or this is like the thing that they used the most. And it is an Artie Pop carrier. So it's a baby carrier and they have so many like cute, really cute designs. Chelsea was saying that they were sending her one as well and we realized that we picked the exact same one. So we have the same carrier. There's like so many patterns and we realized that we had the same one. So anyway, um, I really like it just cause it's like neutral and I feel like it's just like a, I like this pattern. What is this houndstooth? Is that what this pattern's called? I forget. But anyway, again, I'm not gonna like take this all out, but I am so grateful for this and I'm really, really excited to use it. I've heard that it's like just the best one and I was definitely going to purchase that. that. So the fact they sent it to me is incredible and I cannot wait to use it. I think what I've heard about this one is that there's like a lot of back support with it. I've never used a baby carrier, but it's like the fan favorite, so I'm excited. Okay, I'm getting hot. Holy moly. Are the winter uglies hitting anyone else? Like they're hitting me. I haven't worn self tanner in like three months. You know, try, trying to embrace the pale girl winter, which is fun every now and again, but I'm feeling pasty, I'm feeling <laughs> dry, and I'm feeling pregnant. So anyway, okay, this is the last thing. Oh yeah, these are the last things really fast. Let me move this. So my fam over at Way. I'm obsessed with them and I love them more than life. They sent me over this little package with this little onesie. This says way on it. That is the tiniest thing I've literally ever seen. Oh my gosh. But they also sent me this. 
the softest, cutest little bunny. And then some stuff from Coterie, which is another brand that all of my friends use and it's supposed to be the best. I don't know, again, if I was just to buy stuff, this is what I would be buying. So I am very grateful that they sent this to me and I will definitely be ordering more, I'm assuming, because Coterie is like diapers and wipes. So this is really nice, it's a little pouch. And then here are diapers, another one, another diaper thing in here, and the Coterie wipes. So again, I have zero experience with any of this, but from what I hear, it's the best. So I'm excited to try that out. And then this is the last thing. I just figured out why I feel weird. I'm not wearing earrings. That's it. I was like, something's off. Something's off. Also, of course, I'm looking at that freaking viewfinder. When will I learn? And it's that I'm not wearing earrings and I feel weird about it. I feel naked without earrings. Okay, this is the last thing. Base sent me this diaper bag. It's a black diaper bag, has all the pockets and all the stuff. Um, I have done zero research on diaper bags, but that looks amazing to me. So it has just, yeah, a bunch of, bunch of pockets and stuff. And then I feel like throughout what I've been showing you, I've been sent like some pouches. So I feel like maybe I'll just put like pouches also in there. I don't know. I've heard that you don't really need like a specific diaper bag. Like you can literally just use a big purse. Um, but it's also nice to have like a lot of pockets to put different things in for the baby. I, again, no idea, but, but I'm excited to dig into that, do some more research. And yeah, that's it. That's it for my baby haul. Um, I posted the other day and I was like, do you guys like PR hauls? Because I never really care. Like if pe when people in other vlogs, if they're like, I'm gonna do a haul. I'm like, okay, I don't care. I don't like enjoy seeing it for some reason. Um, but I was shocked that a lot of you were like, yes, yes, please do hauls of, of stuff. Anyway, so I don't know if that was of interest to anyone, especially because it was baby stuff. And if you're not into baby stuff, like, maybe you just don't care let me know because I will like not do them <laughs> if it's annoying but I just wanted to thank all those companies because it was so nice of them to send that and very generous and so again I'll let you guys know oh, this is so pretty this is the belly oil if um I decide to do like a giveaway for any of this stuff or any of in the future if I get sent anything um I will probably do that on Instagram I feel like that's the easiest way to do that so anyway that was it and now I need to clean all this up that I just took out here. And that room is feeling a lot better though, which is amazing. I'm about to go thrifting with some friends. Here's my OOTD, if you will. I'm wearing this Jerf Avenue t-shirt that is so, so cute. It's not fitting fully over, over the belly anymore, but I'm just wearing this gray. These are actually not matching. These are from Kai, from my sister. And I'm wearing some Reeboks. And then my Adidas go-to gray hoodie zip up. I just put some greens in my water, actually Leif did for me. Some cherry limeade greens because we know my issue with water. I, oh, I've been trying, but I do not usually feel well, especially if I take like gulps of water, I have to like sip. But when I put like some greens powder or electrolytes or something flavored, it helps a lot. So anyway, I got that. They're probably gonna be here to pick me up pretty soon, but we're gonna go to a few thrift shops. We'll see if I can find anything for our house. Really anything, I guess. Clothes, baby stuff, we'll see. It's always a, a toss up if it's gonna be a good or bad thrift day. So we will see. Let me pop in here real quick. Do you think it's more like mindset or just actually what you find? So I, I feel think like it's really me, hard. It's mindset. I think it's really hard to go in there with something specific in mind. Like I feel like you won't find it. You have to yeah. be very open-minded, but it's at, at the same time, it's kind of nice to have like categories. Like, okay, today I'm looking for like jewelry or house stuff or something. And then you can kind of like, and then you'll just like randomly find some weird yeah. knickknack that you love. Yeah. But if you go in there too specific, like, okay, I'm looking for this specific color of sweater or dress, like, I feel like you're not gonna find it. You yeah. just have to be open-minded when you're thrifting. It's a job. It's kind of exhausting. 
such a hard day. <laughs> it's gonna be such a hard day for me, you guys. Thrifting with all my friends. I just got done with a prenatal massage that was so amazing. Chelsea and Beth actually both got me massages, like certificates for a massage for my birthday. So I have two massages that I can cash out. Um, and so I did one of them today and it was so, so nice. It was just so relaxing and I like relaxed in this little, they have like a little ladies room kind of where you just chill and hang out and it's super comfy and cozy. You can have like water or tea, so I had some water and just sat in there and relaxed for a little bit after, which was really, really nice. I meant to give you guys a haul of my jewelry from when we just went jewelry shopping, or sorry, when we went thrift shopping. Most of the stuff I got was jewelry, so I wanted to show you that. But when I, by the time I got home, it just, the lighting, it was kind of dark, so I wanted to show you in the daylight. So when I get home today, I will show you that jewelry I got. But I'm just stopping by this little like smoothie bowl juice place. I'm getting a few smoothie bowls for Leif and I. So just before I head home, I'm sitting in my um, passenger seat because I parallel parked on the road, but the it's like a lot of traffic. And I placed my order, but it wouldn't be done for like 10 minutes, so I'm sitting in my car, but I couldn't really get in my driver's side because there was so much traffic, so I'm just sitting in the passenger seat waiting for the food. Oh, I also, I, think I got some avocado toast as well, even though it's fully, it's like, it's lunchtime, late lunchtime, almost dinner time, but that was just sounding good, so. Okay, I'm home. We've got the jewelry. I wanna show you guys what I got from a few different places. Well, it was like an antique mall kind of thing. A lot of these things I got are like kind of statement pieces, I guess. I've been trying to think. I wasn't gonna go into this, but I feel like I had like a, you know, you've been hearing me say like, should I go brunette? Should I, whatever. I feel like when you're pregnant, sometimes you have like an identity crisis. Not that I think I'm having an identity crisis, but I was looking at my Instagram and I was like, it's time for a rebrand. In the sense, only mentally, for me. I'm not gonna, I'm not trying to change up my entire style or something like that, but I feel like for the past year, I've honestly been doing like IVF and the pregnancy thing has lasted at this point. It's been like almost a year since I've started all that stuff. And so I feel like for a lot of last year and this year, I just haven't been like getting dressed up and going places and really showcasing my style in any way, even for myself, like at home. I just feel like I'm always like in comfy clothes. I, when I was doing IVF, I was just like laying low a lot of that time and then same with the pregnancy. So anyway, all that being said, I wanna like have some cute, fun outfits and jewelry and like, I love pregnancy style, like fashion. I love following girls who make the bump really cute. Like, I, I just think it's fun. And so, not that I'm putting any pressure on myself to do that. That was just a preface to say that um, some of these pieces are more like extra or like statement pieces, but I just think they'll be really fun with certain outfits that I have. Okay, look at these earrings I got. How cool are those? They're just so fun and like, I feel like I'm in my statement earrings era, okay? Because look at these that I also found. How fun. These, apparently I am loving fruit right now because I need to show you guys this massive fruit necklace. I found the fruit necklace after I found these. Honestly, I probably wouldn't, I don't know if I would have bought these. Whatever, I'll show you. But um, these are just so, so fun. Um, Leif and I are gonna go on like a little baby moon probably next month. Kind of like a beachy vacation. I feel like a lot of these will be really cute. This bracelet, to me it kind of just looks like little like horseshoes. I tried it on though and it's so cute. All these were super cheap too, like five bucks. This bracelet is really cool. Look at this. It's just a little like bangle. So fun. I feel like stacking this with a bunch of other fun bangles. You know what it is also? My style is very, I like summertime. I've said that a million times. I don't really like winter fashion very much. I just feel like I don't thrive in the winter in any capacity and so I think as it's like, I'm seeing peaks of summer here and there, I'm starting to get a little more inspired and I feel like my style is better in the summer. Oh yeah, I forgot I got two gold chains. 
I think I left them in the bathroom because I was trying them on. I'll keep going with the earrings. I'll share the craziest thing that I got last, okay? Um, look at these J earrings. Little gold with rhinestones. And then these I'm obsessed with. I'll show you one. It's, they're literally tiny. Can you even see that? It's like a little pink jewel. I feel like this would be really cute for my third piercing. And then I got this cute necklace for layering. Um, it just has like a little blue jewel on it. And I feel like that with a bunch of other layered necklaces is really cute. And then I got two just generic gold chains for also for layering. They're in the bathroom. And I got this big pendant heart. Tracy, my friend that I went thrifting with, she has a big like chunky heart like this that's on a super long chain that like hangs really low. And she was like, I wear it all the time. So I thought that was kind of fun. Okay, lastly, this you gotta have, you gotta have some imagination. Not even imagination, no, I'm not gonna do disclaimers. It's iconic, that's all I'm gonna say. It is iconic. Look at this necklace. I'm obsessed. Okay, you gotta wear this with a specific vibe and a specific outfit. This is obviously the moment. This is what we're focusing on. It's a Betsy Johnson. I don't know when, like, when it's from, but I do think that it's, like, old. Any one that I've seen, I looked it up online, like, Betsy Johnson fruit necklace, and they're all pretty expensive. Like, all the ones I saw, like, this were, like, 100 bucks. I want to wear this with a bikini on my trip, okay? Stay tuned for if we can make this cool, but I feel like with the right swimsuit... Do you guys see the vision? It's all, like, rhinestone fruit and flowers and I love the patterns and the colors. I will give you another update of the room that we were cleaning at the beginning of this vlog, my office, in next week's video. We made a ton, a ton of progress, but there is still a little bit more to do, and I do kinda wanna go to like the container store or Ikea and get some organizational containers to organize that closet. That closet's kind of a mess still. So anyway, there is more work to do, but we have had a productive week, which is amazing, and we will take the win. Make sure you guys are subscribed if you don't want to miss out on upcoming videos and lots of updates. And thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys and I will see you next time. Bye.